This demo has been created to introduce you to the Star Rating of Designs web app. An easy way to get access to the Star Rating of Designs web app is going via Vida. Vida can be found at vida.irap.org. The screen for the Star Rating of Designs web app has a navigation bar at the top where you'll find items like your user account details and the language that you're using. Underneath this is the toolbar. This has all the common features that you'll need whilst editing a data set. The first step in any data set is actually to define some road geometry. Road geometry can be defined within the tool in a number of different ways. I'm going to initially upload a CSV sample from a road design that was done in Kazakhstan. The next stage in the process is to actually upload your design files. For this demonstration, I'm only going to upload a couple of files, but for a real project, you'll be uploading more. For uploading design files, you'll be taken back to the admin panel, and here you'll select the files from your computer. So firstly, I'm going to add in a cross section for this part of the road. And secondly, I'm going to put in an intersection. For an example. The way we combine road geometry and design files is using layouts. So let's add a layout for the cross section. So you select the design file you want and then select which 100 meters of road you want to apply that to. Once you select the relevant kilometers you can see them displayed on the map and you can approve them. Once you've named your layout, you'll be taken to the coding interface. Here you can see the image that you're going to be coding, along with which 100 meters you're currently focusing on, and the different attribute buttons down the bottom of the screen. Then you can progress through the different tabs, recording all the different things you can actually find on the relevant road design picture you're looking at. Once you've gone through the relevant tabs and recorded all the different road features, you have the option of saving the data. Now that has done, and you can see that it's saved at the bottom, I'm going to return back to the previous screen and provide a second layout to cover the intersection. So we select new design layout again, select the design file that we want, and then select which 100 meters this relates to. As before, once you've saved it, it's then put it into this 100 meters and we can swap to that relevant layout and see we've got our intersection. So we can now go through and code the additional features we can see from this diagram. Notice that the previously recorded features are already selected for us. So what we're doing is we're refining those with the extra piece of the information we can see on this diagram. This tab can now be saved to this exact 100 meters. You would use this process again and again, building up all the different data with all the different design files for your road until you've got the most complete coding that you can have possible. Now we know that some road designs don't always include additional things outside the road boundary that might be included within the road features for IRAP. So the way you would do this is by using a survey layout. A survey layout can either display you Google Street View or Mapillary image data when it's available. Going through this process, you'll be able to actually record all of the different road features that are available within the IRAP model. Once you've completed that, you'll be able to actually send the data for quality assurance using the submit data to QA. In addition to this, you'll be able to generate the star ratings. Once you've generated them, you'll be able to view them in VEDA. So to see the results, click on the results button. So here you can see the entire section of road that was upgraded as part of this road design project. At the moment, I'm showing you the vehicle star rating. And before a safer road investment plan is considered, and it is the smooth data.